questions we get often is how do you winch a car in and out of a trailer? Um, it's actually the best way to do it. You don't have to worry about your foot slipping off your clutch, a hot car going in. Um, so let me show you how you do that. It's really easy. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to come inside. Well, actually, the first thing we're going to do is get your car up here. A lot of people even winch them down from the ground, but I normally put it up on the ground. We're going to come in here. And then what I do is on the winch, I disconnect it so that the cable will come out. There's actually a rubber hook here that we put the, the hook on of the winch on. And then that way, if you go the wrong direction, it just pulls on it. It's a nice way to store it. And then I'm just going to pull it right out here. Now on the car, a lot of cars have uh, tow hooks especially if you're going to the track. Now, this particular Cobra Daytona Coupe does not have a tow hook, and so um, I take one of the axle straps that I use to hook it down to the D-rings. I take that and temporarily, I put it around uh, the uh, rack here on the suspension, and then I just connect this to it. Really easy. And then I take my remote control fob, and I just tighten this a bit, so I'm going to, oh, first I need to reconnect here. So easy, I forget to do it. Okay, now re-engage. There we go, I've made it. So my car has been sitting on the ramp here with the emergency uh, brake on and in gear. And I'm now going to take it out of here. And I'm going to winch it in. Now the nice thing about winching in a car, if you're driving the car in, you've got to have your head out here, you're trying to see, and then you don't see that side at all. And with the winch, I can actually pull it in and I can see both sides perfectly. I can see how it's lined up on the ramps. So everything's lined up.